All right, so here's the first one. 93 tops. What's the first thing you think when you see that? Uh, first thing, uh, definitely young, and um, yeah. I'd like to know what he's staring at. But um, <laughs> Exactly, right? Yeah, I'd like to know what he's staring at, definitely. Like the tops photographer, I think, said, <laughs> look like you're deep in thought or something, right? Yeah, that's definitely majestic, that's for sure. <laughs> that's awesome. I mean, you were born 99, right? 99. So you were, your dad was about halfway through his career. What are some of the first things you remember about um, your dad and being in the ballpark and see that kind of stuff? Um, so I'd say probably when I actually started going to the ballpark a pretty good bit, I'd probably say between when I was about three and a half years old, I was yeah. when he was with the Mets. Um, Kind of fell in love with it in uh, St. Lucie. They had like a little, all the half fields. So like, obviously like little kids think it's like a little league park. Yeah. And um, I would say that's definitely where I fell in love with baseball. He'd always take me back there during spring training and throw to me at the plate. And, you know, obviously when I was old enough, I could finally get over the fence. But um, that's probably when I first started really going to the field a lot. And he had no problems in taking me to the field. And uh, that was probably where mine and his baseball I would say baseball relationships started to blossom was probably when I was three years old. So you, how, how old were you when you first hit one over the fence? Did you remember? I'd probably say five or six years old. Really? Because um, we always, back at home, we'd play coach pitch. So, yeah. he, and uh, my dad definitely knew where my hot zone was. So he, <laughs> he, could, he could just literally place it there and let me try That's to hit awesome. one over. But, uh, so yeah, it was a lot of fun. Okay, this one's a 94 Fleer. First of all, is that scary? Because that looks exactly like me, but I'm from the yeah. left side. Um, I good pitch in motion, ready to get after it. Yeah, and then the back is there's nothing too phenomenal about the back. It's just a definitely, definitely a sinker or slider. There's no in between. It was one of those two. Oh, with that pitch, yeah, nice. yeah, definitely, hundred percent. All right, this is a '95 tops. So I kind of like the, 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 the angle of this one, the way it's set up. That's good. I, I, that's a, that's a solid solid baseball card. Yeah, no, I, I like that one too. That there's the back of it. It's got a couple of little a little action shot. A little. He likes to just stare into nowhere. That's for sure. <laughs> I have noticed that. I was going to ask you about that. Is that something that that you notice as a as a, a kid with your dad? He would just uh, like have a, st a stare. No, honestly, no. Um, I mean, we have a couple like running jokes in the family that if I told people, he would he would not be happy. <laughs> but um, so. All these cards, like, they just crack me up just because I know how not serious of a person he is and how much he jokes around and just yeah, seeing him, really? like, staring straight off and, like, not even smiling, that cracks me up. That's awesome. All right, now this one I'm going to show you. It's on my phone. That's a good, that's cool. Is it I like that card. Small Town Boy. Oh, yeah, Five Points, Tennessee. Oh, yeah, I know exactly where that is. Yeah, and then it says oh, – um, yeah. it says – Five Points, Tennessee, a town of 250 with no traffic lights. Weathers said, quote, Daniel Boone would have a tough time finding it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the truth. That is the truth. No, that's a, I like that card. I like the back of that. Yeah, no, that, was, that, was a, that was a good one. Um, that's a good one. Okay, this is um, 95 Upper Deck. They're progressively getting better, that's for sure. Yeah. He, he's starting to figure it out a little bit. Um, <laughs> That's a good one, too. I like that. There's the back of that one. That's just a nice, clean card. I like that design. Yeah, that's a good card. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of them like this. Just a nice, solid – you know, there's nothing, like, fancy about his motion, right? He was very efficient. Is that how you describe yeah. it? Oh, yeah, that's that's pretty accurate. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's the, the back. There we go. Now we're looking at the camera. There we go. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, that's, a, that's a good baseball card, too. Yeah. No, what, crack, what cracks me up is all of his baseball cards, um, as, until he, I would say, he was probably with the Mets. They said Dave Weathers and yeah. his name was David. So I've always asked him, like, why, why did they put Dave on the baseball cards? But uh, they just so, uh, just, he, he yeah. has no clue why. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't in charge of that, right? No. Okay, this is a 97 upper deck. Um, this is when I've been with the Yankees. That was that the Reds, Reds. Yeah. Oh yeah, that one. So he has at our at the house in our basement, he has a whole bar that he made and it has all of his cards all the way up from when he was with the Blue Jays all the way to his last year in 09. Really? And yeah, that I think that exact card is in like when he was with the Reds that we have that 
in our bar at home. So did, did you collect cards of your dad? Did you collect cards at all? Did you have cards of your dad's before like he had them? I actually, I think I started collecting cards because especially right when I started getting into baseball, so when I was about three, four years old, I mean, cards were still like a hot deal. I mean, yeah. that was still a big thing. Um, so I know for a fact, I think somewhere at home, I have like a binder, like with all those little card sleeves full of like when he was with the Mets. Like awesome. I want to say, I think I have most of them all signed. Oh yeah. It was easy enough for you to get that, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, I, um, I think I, I want to say I have all of when he played with the Mets and then all of when he played with the Reds. That's cool. I think because I still, even now, like even when our, our guys, like some of the guys who got drafted last year and like my year like i like still getting their cards like that yeah. and i'm like i think it's just cool to have